Hello and welcome to all your Pisceans. This is your monthly horoscope for August of 2020. It's not tailor made, but it is a general reading. So take what resonates with you. And you are a Piscean, so you kind of feel when you're saying, mm, Vela, this is not what resonates. Just leave it then. Or, mm, yeah, I could work with that. So um, let's have a look at what this month is all about. There are no retrogrades of like Mercury or Venus or Mars. There are no eclipses, so it's a bit of an easier month for all of us. But of course, there is a bit of a tension happening with Mars and with Venus. So it's a month about desires and the Pisces. They know all about desires, don't they? Because you are a water sign and water sign, uh, they go deep. Emotions run deep and they know all about longing and they know all about craving and they know all about how it feels to have something or to not have something. And this is going to be key with this Venus and Mars uh, this month. It is going to connect with Pluto and um, in, a, in a stressful aspect, in a T-square. In a but that means that it's for all of us some sort of a lesson of we can only control what we want to control. Yes, control what you can control and do your best, but let go of what you cannot control. And uh, because otherwise it, it gets really, really toxic. That's the negative side of Pluto. And you don't want that. So definitely with Venus, the first week, Venus is going to be in your fourth house, in, still in Gemini, and it's going to connect with the North Node. So that could be the first week um, that could be like, um, you really have some epiphanies considering home, considering your house, considering your emotions, um, and giving you that good feeling because that Venus in a North node is really those, that freshness that arouses. Then Venus on the sixth, around the sixth of the month and a whole month is going to be in Cancer in your fifth house. Wow. That's amazing. In itself, Venus in the fifth house is like romance, feeling good about, about um, people and about your, your heart chakra is opening up and you're having a great time. It's the house of cafes, restaurants, recreation. It's the house of, of uh, children. It is the house of romance and lovers. But, but, I say one but here because it's gonna oppose this Jupiter-Pluto uh, in your 11th house of friendships and of um, uh, associations. So on, in a good way, it could be a transformation going on here so that a friendship transforms into something that is bigger uh, in a negative way. So be aware that you, you could have, that's still positive, you could have some really, really strong attractions. Um, that could be in the friends zone because of this Pluto in your 11th house or a very strong person or a person that is going through quite a lot of transformation and that's very attractive for you. Um, but whatever it is, make sure that you don't want to control this, that you're um, not wanting to, oh, I want to have this or a person or that uh, uh, goal because the 11th house is also your goals. Um, if, if you're too clingy towards that, it's, it's gonna escape, you know, and Pisces do know that and they are good masters in, oh yeah, I know when it comes, it comes and when it doesn't come. I mean, unless you have like the moon in Scorpio or you have like a Venus uh, uh, um, that is all with Pluto or whatnot, so something that is more intense there. But uh, yeah, there could be some fatal attractions that you're having. There could also be some transformations going on with your heart chakra. And um, actually the best is to, again, to um, be appreciative, appreciative of what comes to you. If it's not, you know, to say to yourself, rejection, it's really God, God's protection, that kind of thing. Um, and Mars is um, in your second house, I mean, for the rest of the year. So that is a good thing for hustling for the money, for working hard, working on your confidence. And you will get it for sure. Maybe not now, this month, but when Mars goes direct again in the midst of November, you're going to see the results. Now here, this Mars is helped with the Sun and Mercury the first two weeks of the month in Leo and that is your sixth house. So there could be something positive um, when it comes to work 
or some, some more chances there that you're having because of your own efforts that you're doing. But still, of course, this Mars is squaring up to Pluto and Saturn in your 11th house. So it could mean, for instance, that you're finding a job, but that it's not really your goal, you know, that you're saying, yeah, I'm doing this job, but it's, it's for paying the bills. It's not for my soul, you know, I, I don't feel nurtured here, but I'm doing it just for a couple of months or something like that. So there could be something off, uh, but at the same time, uh, something positive. So, and that is because of this Leo energy that is really nicely trining this Mars energy in your second house. And then around the 22nd of the month and onwards, you're gonna, relationships will be very, very important again throughout the whole month, but especially the two last weeks, because then the Sun and Mercury shifts into your seventh house of relationships. So there's definitely people there for you. And um, there's definitely people that are uh, um, having your attention there. Um, but it's going to be lively. You know, the sun is about lively people and Mercury is about good communication there. So if you had in your relationship a bit bad communication or it should improve uh, around the, the 22nd and onwards of the month. Having said that, I wish you a very, very good month. Dear Pisces, thank you so much for your time and for listening and uh, see you next month. Bye bye.